program is presented to assist you in solving problems encountered in mathematical calculation and drug administration. It revolves around a single concept called dimensional analysis, which when mastered will enable any student to perform a variety of calculations confidently. Let's look at a typical graduate nurse on her unit for the first time. So many meds and so many clients. Even if I can draw them all up accurately, it's going to take me so long to do this figuring. Oh, God, my calculator's broken, too. Now what am I going to do? Let's see. Hmm. Mrs. Brown gets 75 milligrams of Demerol IM. And I have Demerol injectable 50 milligrams in one cc. Now, how did they show us how to do this type of question in med class again? Let's look at Claire's problem step by step. First, we start with the desired dose, which is 75 milligrams. The available dose is 50 milligrams in one cc. That means if you write that as a fraction, we get 50 milligrams over one cc. Now we want to multiply 75 milligrams by the available dose. But in order to cancel out the milligrams, we have to put the 50 milligrams in the denominator and the one cc in the numerator. Remember that the numerator is the number upstairs. So sometimes we call it that. It's, it's on top of the number. The denominator is below the fraction bar, or sometimes we say it's downstairs. Now we have 75 milligrams times one cc over 50. If you reduce there, we get rid of the milligrams. Then we can reduce by 25, so we get 3 times 1 cc over 2, which is 3 halves or 1 and a half cc. Uh, you could have done this a little differently if you first set up the equation the same way as before. 75 milligrams times 1 cc over 50 milligrams, reduce your dosage, the milligrams. Now you have 75 times 1 cc over 50. Multiply the numerators, so you get 75 cc over 50. Here you would have to do a long division. 75 divided by 50 will be written in long division as 50 into 75. You add a zero after the decimal point to get a more accurate answer. And the calculations, you do the following. 50 into 75 goes 1 times. 1 times 50 is 50. We subtract. We get 25. Carry down the zero. 50 into 250 goes 5 times. Uh, and our answer is now 1.5 cc. In other words, to get a dosage of 75 milligrams, you need to use 1.5 cc of what's available to you. Now, let's go back to Claire and see if she got it by herself. Well, now I remember 75 milligrams times 1 cc over 50 milligrams is my equation. I cross cancel the labels, then multiply and divide what remains. Leaves me with 75 cc's over 50 equals 1.5 cc's of Demerol. Well, that's a cinch when only two labels are involved. But now this next med, God, this one has three labels. 
Mrs. Gordon has 600 milligrams of aspirin ordered, and I have pills, but one pill equals five grains, milligrams, grains, pills. Now what? Now what, indeed? Still not a difficult situation with dimensional analysis. Again, start with your desired amount. That's 600 milligrams. Now, what's available to us is grains. So we have to go from milligrams to grains. What's the conversion factor? We know that we have one grain is the same as 60 milligrams. So we start with that. We have 600 milligrams times now again, the 60 milligrams has to come in the denominator, so we get times one grain over 60 milligrams. But here, if you look, we are still not, there's still not enough. We don't want grains, we want pills. So we have to go to what's available. We have pills that are five grains each. So now we multiply what we had before, the 600 milligrams, times one grain over 60 milligrams with one pill over five grains. Again, we can uh, cross cancel the milligrams go, the grains go, and we can reduce. So we have 10 pills over five. That's two pills. It's easier than you thought, right? Now, let's go and see if Claire agrees. I can't believe how simple this really is. All I have to do is remember to have the appropriate conversion factor and cross-cancel the labels. So the desired dose is 600 milligrams. The available is five grains in one pill. And my additional conversion factor then is 60 milligrams equals one grain. And that'll get me from milligrams to grains. So 600 milligrams is one grain over 60 milligrams times one pill over five grains. And then I cross cancel the milligrams, cross cancel the grains, leaves me 600 times one over 60 times one over five. And my label is pills. Divide 60 into 600, do the rest of the multiplication, and it leaves me with two pills. That's pretty good. This is really great. Hi, Cliff. Hi, Jean. What's so great? I got so many meds to give out today, I'm going crazy over this. What's great is that I finally feel comfortable with these med calculations. I feel like I can calculate just about anything with this dimensional analysis that I learned. Is that right? Yeah. Well, maybe later on you can help me with this IV drip calculation, or it's taking me forever to do. Okay, fine. How about if I meet you in about 10 minutes in the conference room? Okay. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Okay, now what's the doctor's order read? It says to give 1,200 cc's of 5% dextrose. Okay and one-third percent normal saline over 10 hours. Okay. <clears throat> so then your desired amount is 1,200 cc's over 10 hours. So that's the first fraction of your equation. What's the drop factor of the administration set? The drop factor is 10 drops per, per ml. So we put 10 drops over one milliliter. But since we're using cc's in the first fraction, Let's use cc's instead of milliliters since they're interchangeable and then we can cross cancel. So the final equation is going to look like this. 1200 cc's over 10 hours times 10 drops over 1 cc. Now when you cross cancel that, you're going to cross cancel the cc's from the 1200 and 1 cc. And then you're going to cross cancel the 10 in front of the drops in hours. And that's going to leave you with 1,200 drops over one hour. Mm. Oh, but I need drops per minute. Though. No problem. We'll simply add another conversion factor. You know, it'll give you drops per minute. How many minutes are in an hour? 60. Oh, I see. 60 minutes in an hour. And I would use 
one hour over 60 minutes so the hours can cross cancel. Right. And then multiply that by 1,200 drops per one hour. The hours would cancel and I'm left with drops per minute. That's right. And then I divide the 60 into 1,200 and I have 20 drops per minute. Right. And actually, if you want to, you could even put it all in one equation, which would be 1,200 cc's over 10 hours times 10 drops over 1 cc times 1 hour over 60 minutes. Then when you cross cancel, you're first going to cancel your label, so you'll cancel the hours out. You'll cancel the cc's out, and that'll leave you with a label of drops per minute. Then you're going to cross the tens out, and then you're going to divide 60 into 1,200, which leaves you with 20. So that leaves you 20 drops per minute. Yeah, this is easy, you know? I think this is the easiest technique I've ever learned, this dimensional analysis. Pretty good. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I'm glad that Claire and Jean feel so comfortable with dimensional analysis. Let's review the problem once more to make sure you feel comfortable also. The order reads, give 1,200 cc's over 10 hours. The administration set delivers 10 drops per cc. You want your answer in drops per minute. Now we have hours and minutes, so we need another conversion factor that is that we have 60 minutes in an hour. So now let's start. We have 1,200 cc's over 10 hours. Then we have to get rid of the cc's, so we have 10 drops per cc, and we have 60 minutes per hour. If we cross cancel, multiply the numerators and the denominators, we'll get 1,200 drops per 60 minutes we continue to reduce, we get 20 drops per minute. So you see, dimensional analysis can assist you to do a variety of problems, from oral medications to IM to IV, without any difficulty at all and no memorization of multiple formulas. All you need is dimensional analysis. Now let's review the steps of the process. Number one, know what is desired and what is available. Number two, know any conversion factors you may need to get from the desired to the available. Number three, put each factor in fractional form so the denominator and the numerator labels cancel, leaving you with the desired answer label. It's as simple as one, two, three. We hope that this program has helped you to understand how easy it is for just about anyone to do medical dosage calculations once they've mastered dimensional analysis.